he's been great, considerate, attentive. So far. What does that mean? Hey, I'm glad you can forgive him. I don't know if I have. It'll be different this time. I'm stepping out on faith. Well, watch your step. It's my job to worry about the men in your life. You added that to your job description without my approval. We'll be fine, I hope. Hey, Bill owes you some favors, doesn't he? You think he could send over a cop car, stake my house out for the next couple of nights? What did Kelly do this time? Nothing, nothing. You know, with Collier and Davis out of town, me doing the night shift, I just feel better if there was somebody there for her. She's 16. I'm sure she can handle being alone. In fact, I'm sure she'd love it. Didn't you at her age? Yes, but there weren't a bunch of serial killers running around with assault weapons then. Yes, there were. Not so many. <laughs> Pardon me. Can I help you? I hope so. Leland Banks, attorney at law, looking for an attorney here, Lakeisha Reynolds. Lakeisha Reynolds works here, but she's not an attorney. She is, according to the inflammatory letter she sent in my client on your letterhead. What? I'm here to tell you to stop threatening my client, or you'll have to back it up. I'm back. Lakeisha. get this cleared up immediately. Tell Mr. Payton that I'll be in touch with him in the next few days. If we don't, you'll be hearing from me. Good afternoon. Can you believe him? <laughs> the idiot. You're calling him an idiot? What the hell were you thinking of? Renee, Keisha, what's going on? Say by the bill. Nothing much. How you doing? Well, I'm good. Uh, did you get my message? Uh, you got time to grab lunch? Oh, that was sweet, but I just ate. Well, then uh, how about tonight, dinner? Well, sounds good. Uh, want to meet back here around 7? Sure. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'll let you two get back to work, huh? I'll talk to you later. All right, see you tonight. Be all back together. You dropped that white boy, huh? I trusted you with every detail of my professional life, and this is what you do with it? Renee, let me explain. Explain what? There's nothing to explain. But this wasn't even about me. Please, just listen. Fine, but you better make it good, because you're about two seconds away from being fired. A teenager came to me from Girls at Risk. They helped inner-city girls go to college, stay out of trouble. They couldn't afford an attorney. So you thought you'd lend a hand, break the law for them? They were in this office space downtown. Their landlord is a slime bag. Rats have taken over their kitchen. I thought I could send a few letters, get them to fix up their space. Why didn't you come to me? You know I take pro bono cases. I've been sending them letters since before I started here. I figured he'd back down. I didn't think it'd be you such... You didn't think. You could be sued for this, not to mention the Bar Association. What are we gonna do? We. Davis left this morning. His history teacher certainly was brave to take 30 uninterested teenagers to the Smithsonian. Kel's still bugging me about wanting to stay alone. What do you think about that? Yeah, I know. Oh, here she comes right now. All right, honey. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Is that, is that Dad? Can I talk to him? He had to go. His ride was there. He said he'd call as soon as he gets to the site. But, you know, he was a little worried about you staying alone, too. Oh, come on, Mom. I'm in high school. I, I babysit. I don't need to be babysat. How about we compromise? Why don't I get Renee to come check on you this week? That is no compromise. That is me being babysat. Mom, why don't you trust me? I do trust you. It's the world I don't trust. That is such a cop-out. Grapes? No. Cheese? Uh -huh. Lime jello? No way. Hurry up, you two. You're letting all the cold out. We can't find anything good to snack on. I want something sweet, like chocolate cake with white icing. Sorry, we need Mrs. Jackson for that. Sweet potato pie is sweet. We can go down to Catfish Slims and get some. Sweet potato pie? Yeah, Slims has the best in town. Can we go, Daddy? That pie is good, isn't it? These are just like downtown stores. Can white shop here? Oh. I guess, but I don't think they want to. So this is it, huh? Mmm, it sure smells good. Sure does. Catfish Slims is my favorite restaurant. 
restaurant. We come here all the time. May I have a large sweet potato pie to go, please? Now, how are you gonna come in my joint and just order some pie? Hey, Hoss, what you know good, man? Oh, shoot, man, today's just like yesterday. White folks still in the lead. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, uh, rap call about the donation to the Boys Club. Give him five, huh? Mm, mm, mm. Well, I know all the pretty ladies in town, so you must be new around here. Rats D. Whit. What's your name, little man, Julie? Renee Jackson. Wait a minute, you one of them integrating Jacksons, ain't you? Nice to see you on this part of town. What about you? You got your passport, Shorty? Huh? What's your name, little bit? Mary Elizabeth O'Brien. Hmm. Oh, Brian. Well, you hanging with a Jackson, so you got to be cool. So the integrating Jacksons want some pie? Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. No, this one's all me. Solidarity, you know, like Malcolm say, we got to stick together. Take care of each other. Thanks, Mr. Rizzi. That's for you, little bit. Now, y'all come on back around and see me. I might have something special for you. Size. I get real mad when friends don't come back and visit. <laughs> You're still mad at me, aren't you? Is this every letter you've sent? The building changed ownership six months ago. You advised them to stop paying rent? That's a little extreme. But no, it's not. We ought to report him for city code violation. Do you have any proof that the building isn't up to code? No, but Renee, he's a jerk. He needs to pay for what he's done. Why don't you want to play hardball with this guy? Because I'm an attorney, and this hasn't been thought through. We could sue him for damages to their computers. That'll type his money in legal fees, stop all repairs. We need to rattle him. Some people don't respond to a subtle hint. You need to go home. It's only 3 o'clock. You're firing me, aren't you? Lakeisha, go home. You are. You hate me, don't you? Go home. Don't sugarcoat it, Renee. Just say it. Go on. Fine, you're fired. Fine. I don't need you anyway. Can you believe her? What else could I do? Well, you did what I would have done. Yeah, but it's really left me in a bind. Well, how can I help? Find me a new assistant by tomorrow morning. No problem. Anything else? Since you're feeling accommodating, I'd love a trip to Maui. This weekend or next? <laughs> I'm serious. Okay, who are you and what have you done with Bill? Don't get me wrong, I like this new Bill. I'm just happy to be here. And whatever it takes to make it work, I am down for it. Believe me. Hello? I think I'm gonna let her stay alone. What do you think? Good, but I can't talk to you right now. Well, could you come by and see her later? Well, I can try, but Bill's over and we're... Oh, could he come back? I mean, no. I gotta go. Remember, step out on faith. Give it a try. I don't think I'm gonna let her stay. Good luck. Bye. You know, if you really want to go to Maui, I can get the week off. Wait a second. Every time I wanted to take a trip, you said we could. Now suddenly you have time and money to go to Maui? Well, it might be exactly what we need. Bill, we just can't go running off to the tropics like everything is hunky-dory. I need time to get used to this. Used to what? Us. It was really hard for me when you left. I, I went through a lot. It just doesn't go away now that you're back. I know. Baby, listen. I'm here. And I'm willing to wait. I'm going to prove that you can trust me again. Okay? You know, since we're talking, this doesn't have anything to do with that uh, guy I saw you with the other day, does it? You mean Clay? Yeah, the white guy. What is that supposed to mean? Well, I just didn't know how far it went with you two. If you're asking me if I slept with him, the answer is no. Well, yeah. No, no, no. What I mean is, do you have feelings for him? I liked him. So, uh, you don't want to know if uh, I... Seeing anyone else? Did you? No. Every time I thought about it, I thought of you. All right, honey. I gotta go now. So when's my babysitter coming? She's not. Really? Yeah, I thought about it, and we're gonna give this a try. Thank you. All right. That homework better get done, and I'll call and check on you in a little while. I'll be fine, I promise. All right. You got my number if you need it? Yes. Okay. Lock the door. Okay.
Hello? Is there anybody in here? Shut up and don't move. If you look at me or make a sound, I'll put a bullet in your head. You got it? Now get on the ground. What are you doing here? Get demoted or something? No, no, I heard the call from dispatch about Hanover building. I wanted to make sure you were okay. Oh, I'm fine. Can I get you anything? Y you uh, gave your statement, didn't you? For all the good it did. I don't really remember anything, except you took my purse. No cash in it, of course. A few credit cards. I don't think you'll get far on that. I'll contact your credit card companies as soon as possible. Now, he has your address and your keys, too. Is anybody home? Kelly. Kelly, oh, my okay, God. Look, look, don't worry, all right? We'll, we'll send a car to sit on the house until you get there. You might want to stay with Renee tonight. I just, I just want to get home to Kelly. Can I go? Look, am, am I free to leave Look, here? I'm sure she's fine. It's you I'm concerned about. Now, your company might have a counselor that you can I don't see. need a counselor. I just need a ride home. You, you might want to stay with Renee tonight. No, really, I'm fine. I could just use a little money. ATM card's gone. I was up half the night canceling credit cards. I think I only have about $60. How much do you need? A couple of thousand. Are you going to go see that counselor? No, I'm fine. I mean, that whole life flashing before your eyes thing's kind of freaky, but I'm fine. Hey, Renee. Hi, Kelly. Mom, have you seen my gym uniform? You know, I haven't, but if you did a little laundry, maybe you'd find it. Ha-ha. Uh -huh. Did you make anything for lunch? You know, I didn't. I'm moving kind of slow today. That's okay. I'll get something at school. Can I have five bucks? Yeah. Would you like some breakfast? No, I'm fine. Uh, wish me luck on my test. I need it. Good luck. Be careful out there. Thanks. See you guys. Bye. She doesn't know? I told her I lost my keys at work. She wanted to know why I rang the doorbell at 2 a.m. Why haven't you told her? We were here alone. I don't, I don't want to scare her. That's it. You're staying with me. We're not. We're staying here. Why? Because. Don't you remember when that guy was stalking you and you didn't want to give him the power to think that he could run you out of your own house? Well, neither do I. Besides, I think what Collier would say. Wait a minute. You haven't told Kalia and me? Well, he would just quit his job and run here and make me quit mine, and that's not going to help anybody. He'll be back in a couple of weeks. I'll tell him then. The guys are coming in a couple hours to change all the locks. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. I'm worried. Renee Jackson. I'm sorry. I don't have those files with me. Can I get back to you? Thanks. Sorry, I forwarded my calls from the office. In case you get the boot? Yeah. Were well, we that brazen at her age? I didn't know you then, but I bet you were. Red sneakers. What? The guy with the gun had on red sneakers. Do you remember anything else about him? No. Just the red sneakers. Are you Miss Jackson's secretary? No, I'm Miss Jackson. Sorry. I'm Gail Townsend, the program coordinator for Girls at Risk. This is Trina. Lakeisha speaks so highly of you. She told me you'd been working with her on our case. She did. We're desperately in need of your help. Ms. Townsend, Lakeisha should have told you. That little troll is kicking us out. Little troll? She's nothing but an old, ugly, stingy We got mother a summons posted on our door this morning. Ms. Jackson, we run an after-school program with 40 girls. We've been in the same space for 15 years since before Lakeisha came through the program. Lakeisha? She was in Girls at Risk? Lakeisha's one of our most successful alumni. We're very proud of her. Uh, Lakeisha's cool. Uh, she's my mentor. And when I graduate, I want to be a lawyer just like her. We barely have enough funds to stay open, let alone relocate. We took Lakeisha's advice and we put the rent into an escrow account. Is it too late to pay him? Uh, I have a certified letter for Lakeisha Reynolds. Uh, I'll, I'll take it. Excuse me. Thank you. Well, I can try to get an emergency meeting with a judge, see if we can work this out. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'll be in touch. Hey, now come on in. Decided you couldn't live without me, huh? 
This came for you today. It's from the Bar Association. <sighs> I have to appear before the disciplinary committee. That slime bag reported me? What does this mean? Best case scenario, slap on the wrist. Worst case, you can never practice law. Which means you might as well give up law school. God, what have I done? I didn't think it would get this big. What did you expect, Lakeisha? Why didn't you tell me you were in girls at risk? Because I wanted to make a good impression. I didn't want you to think less of me. I wouldn't. I don't. I just wanted to be a great lawyer. Well, you'll have one more shot at it when you go before the committee. Miss Townsend told me about the girls at risk meeting. Can I go with you? I started all this because I care about them. I like to see how it ends. All right. I'll see you later on. I need help. Renee, quit trying to do everything by yourself. Ah, is there any change? Uh... All right, you can keep it. Well, we met this really cool guy, Razzy. He gave us the pot for free. Razzy DeWitt is a... Listen, Renee, we don't take money or anything else from people like him. You understand me? Yes, Daddy. You get back there and pay for that pie. Speak with the Mr. Razzie DeWitt, please. Have you seen him? Uh, hey, it's Haas. Uh, the governor back there. Yeah, we're telling two uh, very proper young ladies are here to see him. <laughs> All right. Um, may I escort you? When I say I gave you some money, get your mama off the street car. <laughs> what you laughing at, Joe? I seen your mama. She got three teeth, one in her mouth, two in her back pocket. <laughs> hey, boss. Here they are. Well, I'll be John Brown. Y'all back to see me already? Yeah, we can't keep this. And me. <laughs> My daddy says we don't take free stuff. Well, he's just jealous because I make more in a week than he makes in a year. Come here, Sam. Hey, Charlotte, three chair cokes over here. Right, now, you see, there's more than one way to crumble a cracker. See, I'm like Robin Hood. You know, he robbed from the rich, but he gave to the poor. Now, speaking of poor, you two look like you could use a little green, especially you, little bit. You want to make a 10 spot? Hey, Raz, it's a nice lid you got there, man. This? Oh, I got this from old Ugly Willie. Poor Willie. He ain't got much use for hats no more. Yeah, I heard it old Ugly Willie owes some cat too much money. Now he's got a little hitch in his get along. <laughs> so, girls, I need somebody real smart to do me a big favor. See, around the corner on Fulton and Wabash, there might be a guy with a cane there about 5 o'clock. Now, go see if he's there. But don't say nothing to him, because I want to surprise him if he's there. Y'all just come on back around here and tell me. Can you do that? I pay up front when I trust somebody. Now, you girls do this right. There'll be a job worth 50 bucks waiting for you tomorrow. You just call over here and give me the code word, if you're interested. What's the code word? A sweet potato pie, of course. That's my lucky dollar, little bit. You hold on to that for me, all right? Thanks, Raz. And that'll be our secret. Hey, man, Julie, you know how to shoot crap, play blackjack? Come on, girl, I'll show you the ropes. For the third time, my name is Mary Elizabeth Sims. My purse has been stolen with my checkbook in it, and I need to cancel my old checking account and open a new one so that the jackass who stole my purse will not drain what little money there is left in it out of it. Upstate. Yeah. Uh, I'll hold. Hello? Hello? 
Bet you weren't counting on seeing me again, were you? <laughs> Why are you looking so scared? Smack. Back in the fish when I saw Okay. Tracy and I are doing a presentation on the Bastille for French class. She's gonna come over later to study. So, do we have any apples? Huh? Uh, apples? Is it okay if I call Dad? Yeah, uh, no, uh, later. Later, honey. So, how, uh... Hello? Hello? How was the trick test? I just said, I think it went okay. Listen, do you have any chapstick? Uh, I lost mine. Sure, did your keys turn up yet? No, no, not yet, but I, I, I know they will. Mom, do you need to, like, lie down or something? You know, I could, uh, I could really use some sleep. Do you think that you could go over and uh, study with uh, Tracy? Maybe you could spend the night there. Are you serious? Yeah, sure, go ahead. You know, it's a school night, right? Yeah. Better go before I change my mind. <laughs> you got it. Rats? These teenage girls have rats running around the office? Have they always had rats? Probably. No. Your Honor, girls at risk have occupied that building with a stellar tenant record for the last 15 years. They've been a safe, caring environment for hundreds of girls. Since Seymour Payton began managing that building, it's been poorly maintained, and the janitors have been lax at First best. First of all, Your Honor, Miss Jackson's secretary was misleading my client, sending him threatening letters, That's posing as an attorney at the Jackson firm. Matter. And we know girls at risk is a great organization, but my client can't keep a tenant that doesn't pay the rent, nor is he required to. But he is required to keep a habitable building. He hasn't kept up his end of the lease agreement. That's why they've My stopped paying him. My client has consistently made a good faith effort to maintain the building. How much effort, Mr. Banks? We have proof that he's gotten estimates on repairs. He sent an exterminator out twice. Now, if the tenants can't keep the offices clean, he can't be held responsible for that. He's exploiting girls at risk by taking their money and not maintaining the premises. Just entering that building is a health hazard. They haven't paid their rent all three right, months. All right, all right, I get the picture. Well, the two of you should have been able to work this out without me, but since you couldn't, Miss Jackson, advise your client to turn over 75% of the money they've held to Mr. Payton. However, he has exactly two weeks from today to repair the plumbing and address the rodent issue. If the matter is not resolved in two weeks, which it should be, then we'll go to trial. Now, if you'll excuse me. Miss Jackson, pleasure. I hope you enjoy that little taste of legitimate lawyering. Maybe all you get. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Good luck with the bar. Well, where is he? You said he was coming this morning. I've been waiting here all day long. Should I call somebody else? But I'm not paying any after hours fees because you said that he was coming here today. I don't have a check. I don't have any ID. I don't have anything because my purse was stolen, okay? And I need somebody here to change these locks today, not tomorrow. Thank you. There. 
So please leave a message after the tone. Maybe I should just go back to the corporate world. I could use an expense account, paid vacation, and a pool of honest paralegals. So worry about Lakeisha? She's going to be a lawyer. She has to learn the consequences of criminal actions. Does she have to learn by losing everything she's worked for? Come on, she didn't try to kill you, did she? Haven't you ever done anything stupid? I never lied about being an attorney, I mean. I bet you made a big mistake before, didn't you? And I bet somebody bailed you out, too, didn't they? I do kind of miss her. She was good. She was also cocky, hard-headed, and a pain in the ass. Sounds like somebody else I know. Thank you very much. I'm never using your company again. Finally show up to crack a dawn. At least the locks are fixed now. I wish you'd come stay with me. No, no, no. I'm circling the wagons. There? Kelly's staying at Tracy's. Listen, I gotta go. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. Will you call me if you need me anytime? Yeah, I will. I'll talk to you later, all right? In other news today, a security guard was shot in an attempted robbery at the McLean building on 10th Avenue. The guard is in critical condition. The suspect remains at large. It was a big day in sports, so I'll pass it over to Terrence Matthews. Thanks, Jay. Hello. Had a little shakeup in baseball today. College football has a Hello. new king. And oh, we've got highlights from track and field. Hello. But more for me at the bottom of the hour. And here's Stacy with the Damn local it. weather. Additional wet weather will develop across the south by tonight as a small storm front moves in from the west. Listen, if you're the bastard who put a gun to my head, I'm going to track your ass down and I'm going to get my M&Ms back. Do you understand me? Highs today will reach the 70s. Some overcast skies will continue through tomorrow with occasional drizzle. The lows tonight will reach from the upper 50s. I don't care what she says. She's not okay. It sounds like she had an anxiety attack last night. Until she's willing to talk about it, there's not much you can do. I know. You know, Mom's having uh, everyone over for Sunday dinner. It's our monthly family thing. She'd love to have you. Well, that sounds great, but Mom and I usually get together on Sunday. Well, bring her. <laughs> I don't know about that. Honey, I hate to rush you out, but I've got a 10 o'clock meeting with a client at the office, and there's no one there. Why don't you hire a temp? Because temps come with temp attitude, and right about now, I'd like to do it all myself. Oh, I may have to cancel tomorrow night. Oh, Renee, look, I know you're busy, but it's going to take a commitment from both of us to make this work. I know. I'm just... There's just a lot of important things going on right now. More important than us. That's not what I meant. You sure? I'm just a little crazed. That's all. All right. Because uh, I'd understand if you were trying to avoid me a little. I'm not avoiding you. Everything is fine. Now, will you please get out of here so I can get dressed? Can I help? Couldn't hurt to ask. I'm real sorry, Miss Lacey, but Miss Jackson isn't here right now. I don't know. Uh, I'll tell her. I won't forget. Bye. You have a second? A quick one. Okay, look, I know you probably can't stand me anymore, but please, would you come with me to the bar hearing for 10 minutes and, and tell them how I answered your phones and did paralegal research and that I did a good job working here. You want me to tell them everything up until... Yeah, um, until that. Sure. What time's the hearing? Four o'clock. Thanks. What's your strategy? What? Your statement. What do you plan on saying? Oh, actually, um, I have it right here. I, I stayed up all night rewriting, listing my awards, organizing my accomplishments. I think it finally says what I want. Could I make a suggestion? Please. The opening paragraph's very good, but it's missing one thing, a crucial thing. What? Remorse, Lakeisha. It's time you showed some remorse if you ever want to practice law in this state. It's not an apology anywhere in this opening statement. They don't care about your trophies. They just care that you regret what you did. Watch and learn. What should we teach them? Poker, bid whist, or blackjack? Blackjack whist is a little bit too complicated for these two. Uh, I don't think it's such a good idea, Mary Elizabeth. Wouldn't you say they'll be back? Dirt Teresa's pageant on, dude. That'll take hours. Quit being such a worry wart. Hey, O'Brien, what would your Uncle Jimmy say if he knew you had a color gambling in the house? Shut up, you stupid jerk. Is that the best you can do? 
Your mom is so ugly, people go as her for Halloween. <laughs> That's not funny, you tar baby. Your mom is so dark that, that the fireflies chase her in the daytime. Hey, Telly, your mom is missing one finger. She can't count past nine. <laughs> She's so old, her birthday's expired. She's got one short leg. She walks around in circles. <laughs> Uh, come on, guys. Let's uh, just play cards before we get busted, all right? Mm, fine, Carly. I'll front you $2 to start gambling with. Tully, I'll front you 50 cents. Hey, no fair. Besides, where'd you get that money anyway? You steal it? You found I it. saved it. No way, Mary Elizabeth. You saved that much money. Let's just play, okay? Hit me, Renee. Sure thing, sure. I'll tell you, $28. I can barely get $1 to mop the floor. What a jip. If I take out the trash, I'll get my allowance on Friday, 50 cents. Give me a break. What are we going to do? It's only one thing we can do. The jip jobs don't pay good enough. We got to take that second gig Raz offered us. Are you sure, Renee? 50 bucks is a ton of money. But I don't know. You're starting to scare me a little. Come on, Amy. Tell he's going to snitch if we don't pay him. And we ain't got doodah. What? We're broke. We gotta do it. You know how long 50 bucks will last us? We can pay Telly off and still have plenty left over. But if we do this job, what if we have to, like, kill somebody next? Oh, Emmy, you're being ridiculous. He doesn't kill people. You don't have a choice. <sighs> All right, let's call Razzie. It's time for Operation Sweet Potato Pie. What's the worst that could happen? I deeply regret what I've done. The law is sacred to me. I did not intend to dishonor it. I hope that one day my reputation will be a fraction as good as Renee Jackson's. I realize that if I am to be an asset to the legal community as she is, I must not let my enthusiasm lead to irresponsible behavior. If I do, I would be unable to help those who truly need it the most. If you'd like, Miss Reynolds, we will now hear from your character witness. The Alabama Bar Association wants members who are dedicated, honest, caring people who fight for those who otherwise would not have a voice. There aren't enough lawyers out there who actually do that. Lakeisha Reynolds will do that. Yes, she made a mistake. Passionate people sometimes do. I certainly have. And though I don't condone her actions, after careful review, I certainly understand them. Should she have known better? Of course. But it is my belief that she has seen the error of her ways. Given the opportunity, Lakeisha Reynolds promises to be a formidable attorney. She has a sharp mind and an open heart. Mr. Chairman, I would be proud to have her by my side in a court of law. Thank you for your words, Ms. Jackson. Ms. Reynolds, the committee will take this under consideration and will notify you of our decision. I have a bad feeling about this. What's going on here? I got mugged. I got mugged at work. This guy, this guy, he 
he almost stepped on my hand with his boot, and he, huh? and he took my purse, and he took my keys, and he took, he took everything. And then I, I couldn't leave Kelly here by, by herself alone. I, 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 I couldn't do this. This guy smelled like pot. He smelled like pot and cough syrup. And then I, I tried to get the locksmith, and he wouldn't come, and he wouldn't Shoot, come, and I here. waited, and I waited, and he wouldn't come. I was so scared. Jack's a law office. Oh, hey, Bill, I was just about to call you. I, I can't have dinner with you. I go to trial in three days, and I'm not ready. I know it's short notice. Thank you. I'll call you later. Bye. Hey, I got the bar's decision today. And? Probation. I have to wait two years after graduation before I can take the bar exam. That's great. Well, not the two years, I but... know. I know, compared to what it could have been. I guess they figured if you could say good things about me, I must not be all bad. You represented yourself very well. I realize I never told you how sorry I am for what I did. And I wanted to thank you. What you said about me at the bar hearing was... I just hope I can live up to those words someday. You will. Pay your dues, work hard, stay out of trouble, you'll be fine. Oh. Jackson Lofts, this may I help you? Uh, one moment, please. It's Mrs. Lacey. <gasps> I'm sorry, Mrs. Lacey, but I don't see her right now. Sure. He still won't say where he hid the money. You're hiding the cat until he confesses. <laughs> okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, um, so uh, no temp yet, huh? Nope. You know, temps come with the temp attitude. You should get someone permanent as soon as you can. You're right, I should. Well, uh, you take care now. I'll stop by every now and then and see how you're doing. You do that. Keisha. Oh, please, 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 Renee, please, can I have my job back? Please, please, please. I'm a whole new woman. I have changed. I have seen the light. Please, you'll never regret it, not one day, please. If I do this, you ain't seen probation like the probation you're gonna be on with me. I won't let you down, I promise. Trust me, from now on, it's all good. Yeah, well, it better be all good. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Thanks to Mr. Red's wet, I'm gonna get a new toolkit. I'm gonna get a new Frankie Lyman poster. You're right, officer. A life of crime can only lead to one thing. Oh, my God, that's Razzie. I think he's dead. What happened? I don't know. Maybe I should have let him keep his lucky dollar. He was so cool. Yeah, I thought everybody liked him. You know what this means, don't you? We might be next. No. That Fink Tully will rat us out if we don't get him his money. Daddy, how much money do you make in a year? What would make you ask that? I'm just wondering, you know, if I decide to be a lawyer, how much should I make? Well, if you do become a lawyer, I hope the world's a better place by then. But I make enough to take care of everything we need, and I'm sure you will, too. You missed a spot. Bill? <laughs> Since you didn't have time for Molino's, Molino's made time for you. Surprise? I bribed Joe into letting me in. You love this place, right? I know it's a little bit elaborate, but for you, baby, for you, you're worth it. So, what do you think? It's beautiful. <laughs> I made reservations, but when you cancel dinner, I thought, why let perfectly good reservations go to waste? It's great, huh? Yeah. Sir? No? Don't worry about it. 
I can spring for one good surprise, can I? No, Bill, I mean this. Us. We can't do this. What? What? Uh, Renee? What? You were right. I guess I have been avoiding you. Do you mind? What are you talking about? What's wrong? I don't know how to go back. Oh, Renee, don't do this. Maybe I wanted this to work, but too much has happened between us. I don't know how to get past it, and I, I'm not sure I want to. What is this? What, payback? You know, I dump you, so you string me along and dump me back. Is that what this is? No. Renee, I love you. And I love you. But that just isn't enough. Well, this is just because you're hurt. You just need time to get over what happened, that's all. This doesn't have anything to do with time. We don't belong together. I don't believe that. I know. But it's true. Well, thank you for making me dinner. Y'all don't have to pamper me like this. Sure we do. You've been through hell, Shug. Well, I'm not the only one. How come you didn't tell us what happened? Well, part of me felt like there wasn't anything you could do, and the other part of me felt bad that I got myself into that situation in the first place. Why? I mean, it wasn't your fault you were mugged. Your mother and I are making a few changes. We're going to be around here a lot more often. Your dad is not going to work out of town anymore, and I'm switching to the day shift. You're not doing that for me and Davis, are you? Because we can take care of ourselves. Careful, Kel. She could be armed. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Who is this? Kelly, it's for you. He's been trying to get hold of you for days. Now relax yet, it's only Friday. <laughs> you feeling better? Yeah, I made an appointment with that counselor too. I reckon there's one or two things I could talk about. <laughs> Good, I guess I should have told you I called Carly, but I don't think you're gonna try to blow his head off. I was mad at first, but then I was glad to have him home. Thank you. Hey, it's my job to worry about the men in your life. How was there with Bill? Did you have fun? No, we're finished. Huh? Again? Mm -mm, this is it. I mean, here this guy did the most romantic thing anyone has ever done for me, and I, I just felt numb. I didn't feel sad. I didn't feel happy. I, I didn't feel anything. How do you feel now? Hungry. Mm -hmm.